Happy Escobar 2 release day everyone. So as you know by now, all of you have, must have watched the videos that uploaded on Escobar Inc. YouTube uh, official website and so on. And um, I would like to put my, um, share my progress exchange information with Escobar Inc. and so on. And the main reason for that is I realized if I were to get the Escobar Fold 2 and do the unboxing and do the setup and so on, I don't think I'll have time to explain what's been going on uh, before what had, has happened. And so there's so many people confused out there, uh, not sure, and there's also not negative articles about it that needs to be explained. And um, most of all, I think it's my duty, uh, not that I'm one of the most well-known YouTuber, but I think it's my, new t my duty for my viewers to completely understand what's been going on. Um, so I'm putting my reputation in line. Uh, so let me show you the screenshot of the email exchange and I'll try to summarize to you on my, my memory on this. So what has happened is the 30th of January, I have received two comments uh, from my, um, YouTube viewers saying that they received the book which is that rumored book that we all feared for so I decided to uh, think ahead email Escobar Inc saying that um, if I want a refund would you be able to get me a refund uh, at this stage and within well I think it was within about half an hour Escobar Inc saying that just wait you are the one um, who chose to get uh, you're one of the thousand to chose to get the phone. You will get your phone uh, on the launch day. And I thought, what? Thousand people. And at, at this stage, I thought it's gonna be the Escobar Fold One. And that's why I actually said on my previous videos that it's gonna be Escobar Fold One. But that was a mistake here. But that I didn't get that launch day, so I wasn't really sure what they were on about. And I was keep digging and digging and digging and, and so on with this. So. Um, what has happened is that after the, after that email, I thought it was my turn to respond to them. But the following day, without me saying anything, any reply to them, they came back to me saying that I should check uh, check my tracking because there was a second tracking there, and that's why I decided to make a video about it so I could cut cal like calm down some of you out there so confused what's really going on here. So there was a second package happening. And then I, there was a bit of an email exchange to them. And um, this morning, I, I was doing the check every morning um, on, on the post note or the progress. And I realized the weight of this package, second package I'm, I do to, I'm due to receive was 0.46. <gasps> Same as that previous package that turned out to be a book. So I emailed them saying that, hang on, this is like 0.46. Can you clarify what this is? Is it a book, Escobar Fold 1 or Escobar Fold 2? Okay, uh, and they say apologies, we checked with our logistics, it's supposed to be this number and it will be updated shortly. So they changed the reference number immediately, which I was a bit skeptical about that one. But anyway, so I decided to go back to them, but they, then again, they came back within five minutes for this reply. So I replied back immediately saying that, okay, I can see from the second tracking uh, that it's now updated, the weight, the, the weight has been updated to 0.6 kilogram. Can you confirm what it is? Okay, and then within five minutes they said, as for what I can see in the system, it is a Fold 2. Okay, so um, just going back to the important email that I just missed out, I'm just gonna to explain to you is that this simple in email that I received on the 31st of January, because I was haggling them a lot here. But um, because one, one thing is that I wasn't sure why would I receive a book, okay, when I'm supposed to get an Escobar Fold 1 as a second package. And I should have really gathered that from this email that they said to me. They said, everyone that did not receive Fold 1 receives a book and then Fold 2, okay? You are 99, you and 999 others are getting your Fold 2 on launch day, which is the 3rd of February. And, and that was a random selection of database. So in other words, that was it. And I didn't get it when I actually read it on the 31st of January, but last night I realized, oh my God. So today, the 3rd of February is gonna be the official launch day of Escobar Fold 2. And therefore, 
I'm gonna be one of those lucky thousand people who are gonna get the Escobar Fold 2 um, in a very short period of time ahead of March. And I think this gesture by Escobar Inc. is trying to prove to you that uh, they will be able to deliver the goods um, that's my theory by the way, this is not pure on the email, but they, they will be able to deliver that goods on March for those rest of the people. So it looks like I'm gonna get the uh, Escobar Fold 2 ahead of March uh, within a few days and so on. So if I look at the post note, it actually says that the transport of the shipment item has started in the country of the sender. I know what goes on here. So now Royal Mail also acknowledged that they have received it. So I'm due to receive that um, hopefully within two or three days, um, hopefully by end of this week, unless Royal Mail say, hang on, what's going on with this good? And they search and whatever it is. But if it goes under the rule, I'll get it. Um, but um, what I do want to say about Escobar Fold 2 and Fold 1, right? So you will notice that my opinion has slightly suddenly changed. I really wanted Escobar Fold 1, but I watched um, Onbox Therapy Lou reviewing uh, Royal Fexi Pal, and he actually was not pleased with the, the vulnerability of the screen that you're not supposed to fold this for the um, Royal Flexi Power when you do this setup, and the degree of the phone should not go in a condition of under minus two degree, and it sounds like very delicate uh, product. Also, I remember someone said that if you fold it and if you watch something within 10 15 minutes, the bit that folds is gonna gather heat, and that was really concerning. And then I realized. I know it's a completely the same model as Samsung Galaxy Fold, but it I think it's more reliable in some way. Um, I do, comparing to what I heard from um, Lou from Unbox Therapy. And um, one of the main concerns though I had with Samsung Galaxy Fold is that they have this screen protector that everyone feel like they should peel it off. Um, and that's the main cause of this whole problem. About seven pe um, reviewers actually found out their screen gone wrong or something because they thought it was a screen protector that comes out. So I'm hoping that Escobar Fold 2 will come to the screen protector actually reaching all to the edge because I believe Samsung has updated that. So that's something I need to find out if I'm going to get Escobar Fold 2. So I'm much in favor with Escobar Fold 2 and um, and uh, you saw those videos, it looks really nice. It looks pure gangster to me and I think I'll look privileged and look stand out in the middle of the crowd holding that in the middle of anywhere uh, so I'm really excited about it but um, I just thought that this making this video um, the worst case scenario at this stage is I'll open up the box and it's another book or it's something else other than the phone and yes I will look foolish then but I am very convinced this time it's going to be full too because I even managed to nail down uh, from Escobar Inc. that it is actually a fold too because last time they didn't even say that it's going to be a book but they just said good news you're um, we upgraded and Android 10 and blah blah but you know but Escobar, you have to give get credit to Escobar Inc. because they actually admitted there was a problem with mass production of Escobar Fold 1 so I think there was some prototype that was already sent that's why there were three guys who actually reviewed Escobar Fold 1 which I am very much convinced they're not part of the scam team by the way they're Heard. you were actually using I think you were actually false accusing them so you you know Mustafa Michael Wilson and the other um, person oh Scandinavia hype so let's try to reserve all accusation and wait until especially for me uh, when I actually get the Escobar Fold 2 um, I think I hope that will bring positive vibe and happiness to everyone and besides we actually been Escobar Fold 2 is about 50 quid more expensive, isn't it? $50 more expensive. So we've been automatically upgraded and they did not ask for extra fee on it. So that's a bit of a uh, good move there, isn't it? So anyway, so there's a lot of things I want to say. The video is getting longer, but I hope all of my thoughts and my tracking orders and my email exchange with Escobar Inc. purely based on that record um, that proven to be quite accurate in some way will convince you and assure you in some way and if not please do comment below as usual i will try to come back to you for what i understand but this scam or not a scam or not this question i hope you could settle down a bit on that anyway thank you very much for watching this video this is lcp tech a few more days to go let's see what happens all the best bye bye